Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of x multiplied by square root of x multiplied by square root of x plus square root of x, this is equal to 10. Now what are the values of x? Let's provide a solution from here. Now, we can let the square root of x be equal to u. Substituting square root of x with u, we have that u multiplied by u multiplied by u plus u, this is equal to 10. u times u times u, this is u to the power of 3 plus u, this is equal to 10. Let's take 10 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 10, this is equal to 0. Now we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 10, which is minus 8 minus 2, this is equal to 0. Now we have u to the power of 3 plus u subtract 8, which is 2 to the power of 3 minus 2, this is equal to 0. Now we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 here. So we can express this as u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 plus u minus 2. This is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. From the first part here, this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b, a squared plus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. So this implies that u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, this is the same thing as u minus 2. Here we have u squared plus 2u plus 2 squared, and this is equal to 4. So substituting this back to the equation, we have u subtract 2, u squared plus 2u plus 4, then plus u subtract 2, this is equal to 0. Now, u minus 2 is common here, we can factor out u minus 2. Into the parentheses, this is u squared plus 2u plus 4 plus 1. This is equal to 0. Now, we have u minus 2. This is u squared plus 2u. This is plus 2u. Then plus 4 plus 1. This is 5. This is equal to 0. Now we got two parts here, we have two parts here, u minus 2, this is equal to 0, and u squared plus 2u plus 5, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that u, 1, this is equal to 2. The next part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and that c is equal to 5. Now, we can solve for u2, comma u3 by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times, times a. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5. Everything here 
multiply them by 2 times 1. So now, here we have minus 2 plus or minus. This is the square root of 2 squared. This is 4. Subtract 5 times 4. This is 20. Everything here, divided by 2. So here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20. This is minus 16. Everything here divided by 2. So this is minus 2 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 16. This is the same thing as 16 multiplied by minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So this implies that here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 16. This is 4. Square root of minus 1, this is i, then divided by 2. So in the numerator here, here, 2 is common. We can factor out 2 into the parentheses. This is minus 1 plus or minus 2i. Everything here divided by 2. Let's simplify 2 and 2 here. So this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2 I. So this is u2, comma u3. Now we have u1 is equal to 2, and we have that u2, comma u3. This is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let the square root of x be equal to u. Now starting with u1, which is 2, then we have square root of x. This is equal to 2. Now to solve for x here, let's square on both sides. So that now we eliminate the square root sign here. We have that x1 is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. We have x1 is equal to 4. Now, we have that the square root of x, this is equal to, now we have u2, comma u3. And this means that the square root of x here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i. Now, so for x here, let's again square on both sides. So that now, we eliminate the square root sign here. We have that x is equal to, this is minus 1 plus or minus 2i. Everything here raised to the power of 2. Now we have that minus 1 plus or minus 2i to the power of 2. This is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2, which you can express as a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2, plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have x2, comma x3, this is equal to, now here we have minus 1, this to the power of 2, then plus 2i, this to the power of 2, then we have plus or minus, this is 2, Multiplying by minus 1, multiplying by 2i. So here we have 1, now plus, this is 2i to the power of 2, then plus or minus here, we have 4i. Now we have that here, this is 1 plus... 2 squared, this is 4, times i squared, plus or minus 4i. Now, we have that i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. So let's substitute minus 1 here. So we have this as 1, plus, this is 4, times minus 1, 
10 plus or minus 4i. So this is 1 minus 4 plus or minus 4i. So this implies that x2, comma x3 here, this is equal to 1 minus 4, this is minus 3, plus or minus 4i. We have x2, comma x3, this is minus 3, plus or minus 4i. So, so this means that x2 is equal to minus 3, plus 4i, and we have that x3 is equal to minus 3, minus 4i. And we only have one real solution here, which is equal to 4, x1, which is equal to 4. These are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions, and this is the only real solution for this math problem. So let's verify. Let's verify from here. We have that the square root of x multiplied by square root of x multiplied by square root of x plus the square root of x. This should give us a value of 10. We have that x here is 4, so we have the square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 4 then plus square root of 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. Square root of 4, this is 2 times 2 times 2 then plus 2 here. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. 2 times 2 times 2 here, this is 8 plus 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. Now, we have that 8 plus 2, this is 10, which is equal to 10. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the real solution here satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.